ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I got my friend Sean's shop card up here. Uh, we all know Sean, Scale Model Car Guy channel, him and BG, who I don't have a shop card for. Um, they do the small scale group build. And I'm going to join that. Smallest scales for the smallest month, all of February. Um, I finished my naked model. You know, I got a couple other projects wrapping up, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in, get this junk out of the way. I forgot my stand, so I had to have something to prop up the card with. And we're going to be doing this. Uh, nothing new, nothing crazy, nothing really all that interesting probably, but I'm going to unbox it anyways. 132nd scale AMT Bugatti Type 59. Um, I might have got this from Spotlight. Uh, I think so. Spotlight probably. You know, I love that they have the old kits as well as the new kits. And she's all sealed up. So you're going to have to bear with me. So I'm going to debag it. It all comes nicely here in its one bag. I did actually, oh, I already opened this. Look, there's the nice original yellow tape. I must have taken a peek at it when I got it. I know I did because I pulled the decals out, which were absolutely shot. So we won't be using the decals. We'll just do a road version or I'll find some decals in the stash. Very simple, old school AMT instructions. A very simple, very small kit, but you know, I love open wheel cars, and this is sort of a precursor to the, you know, open wheel stuff. Even raced, uh, you know, I don't really know that much about the Type 59. I know they raced the Type 35 in what was then the top level of Formula 1. It was not Formula 1, it was Grand Prix or something. I think the 59 did as well. Anyway, Ettore Bugatti was super successful in racing. So let's crack into this and check it out. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll paint it blue either. I might go something diff totally different. Some real tiny, real skinny 30-second scale tires, which look nice enough. I mean, they got some nice deep tread on them. You probably sand those up, make this look like a used used race car. I'm actually probably going to put those back in a bag. I don't know what sort of substance those are made out of. They don't appear to have burned anything, so it can't be too scary. Black tree, steering wheel. Uh, maybe some sort of arms there, a steering rod, bits and bobs, half leaf springs, which is what the Bugatti would have had on the front probably, and the back, probably half leaf springs. The seat, uh, nice four spoke steering wheel, like I said, and the chrome tree. This is going to be, uh, man, this is going to be fun. Uh, looks like the engine is all chrome. We'll probably strip that um, and paint it something other than chrome. I actually have photos of a Type 59, I believe, in my phone from an event I went to. Some feller had a really nice Type 59 that they ran on the track, so that was cool. Vintage racing event I went to. Uh, looks like we got a firewall, the very you know iconic Bugatti grill engine and the spoke wheels perhaps a little bit overscaled but you know it's a 30 second scale kit we're probably going to roll with it and who knows they might thin out once i strip them who knows how much chrome is stuck on this thing it looks kind of like a lot so we got brakes yeah because those definitely would have been chrome you gotta love how they used to chrome everything um i think this is a kit from the 70s i don't know if we got a date somewhere uh, I don't know which boxing I have either, you know. Well, it's a Matchbox boxing, a Matchbox AMT, so probably not quite the original boxing. Anyways, it's all irrelevant. Yeah, it's not important. We don't care when they were boxed. If it was an original release, we'd open it up and build it anyways. Oh, we got frame rails. Back on track here, sorry guys. Um, flip this around, we got uh, the tub, the uh, body, and the hood. And this is probably the tail section I would imagine right here. Man, I'm out of frame and everything, this is a mess. Um, 
yeah, so I think it's going to be two halves of the hood that come down. Probably had sort of like a piano hinge in the middle and the body and the bottom of the body. And maybe a headrest here. I'm just spitballing, but that's kind of what it looks like. Or maybe that's not. Maybe that's a fuel. To, I don't know. It doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah. That's it. That's the entire kit. Five minutes with my nonsense rambling and everything else. Just very quick unboxing, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, the decals were uh, a total mess. Uh, looked like they had a little water damage and maybe just, you know, time and humidity. But uh, that's not a big deal. We will either pull some out of the parts box or we will... Uh, not worry about it because who cares if it has decals or not we've seen plenty of them without that is the AMT Bugatti type 59 uh, 132nd scale and that's my entry to the small scale group build by my buddy Sean and BG it's gonna be really fun and uh, I'm looking forward to getting into that come February oh look at that totally forgot to show you that is this too silly uh, had this set to the side so I didn't lose it, and here we go. The glass got just the. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know if there's headlight buckets or if those are tail lights or what, and then just the windshield because the racing version didn't have the the lights. So who knows? But that's all we've got for this, and uh, appreciate you guys watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, which will possibly be another group build entry video. Because I'm going to jump into one more for now as well. Uh, Got to keep these moving. It, it helps me, another thing which I don't think I mentioned in my video, but it helps me to decide what to build next. Because I just love to build anything. So, one more um, group build after this at least. And who knows what else I'll get into. I'm a mess. But uh, appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you. Shop card. Email me. Uh, Really appreciate everybody's support. You guys have a great week.